Hello everybody. I want to try to show you tonight sky the view outside so you can see what I see at night. And it's not real super fantastic, but I just want to see if it's possible to film it. This is my view. Oh, see look. It becomes a mirror at night. You can't see anything but the computer. Not really, can you? The night sky, there's the cityscape. This is my view out my window. There's the apartments below. Isn't that cool? I'm so blessed. And it's not a super beautiful night. I, it's a little bit late. Should have done it a little sooner. But the sunset can be so pretty here. And I, I have gotten some good shots, but they don't turn out like, like they look out there. Anyway, I came on. Here, I'll put this light back on. That might help. Um, I wanted to share a warning. If <laughs> I have gum stuck in my mouth, so just to... Forgive me for that. This nursing agency left a bowl full of candy and goodies for us to help ourselves to, to advertise ourselves and their services here for us that we can pay them to do for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> I took this sucker and I was sucking on it after I ate my yogurt. And I didn't realize there was bubble gum down in the middle. <laughs> So I thought, well, I'll chew that bubble gum. <laughs> no, it stuck to my dentures. <laughs> so when I clean up my teeth, I'll get it out. This is important. Um, I don't know. I have not kept up with the, the two weather storms that are coming into the Gulf of Mexico. Apparently, this has not happened since like 59, 1959. It's a big deal kind of storm. Well, the Lord gave this um, a rhema word to this lady who has a channel named um, Looking Toward the Heavens for Jesus. And the words here are, My daughter, when you see the sword coming, well, it's, Eze it's an Ezekiel 33 ministry. And she was given, my daughter, when you see the sword coming, warn my people. Pray that the Lord would have mercy upon his people and lessen these judgments, if it be his will, that salvation and repentance would come. And the confirmation scripture is Matthew 10, 34 and Romans 12, 19. The Lord warns not to divide his land, eye for an eye, retribution. Hmm. See, that's Old Testament, eye for an eye. Jesus changed that, but maybe when it comes to dividing Israel, Father, it's like, you divide my land, I divide yours. Here's a quote. My videos will be on the community page after upload to see what the Lord provided. Take it to the Lord for discernment and confirmation. Okay. Anyway, it's a hurricane warning, particularly for Lake Punch Train. I'll play it for just a minute. Well, unfortunately, I'm back, and I have to deliver a very serious warning. It is a... Um, oh, I will say that today is Saturday, August 22nd. It's 8, 8 o'clock p.m. already. And this was just put up August 22nd. And when I uh, came through on my phone, it was just had just been put up. And there's already 140 views. Uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll continue it for a minute. Warning to an area 
that looks like it's going to be affected by maybe if not one but both storms but I am not allowed to discuss any details with that to discuss the judgments coming um, what the Lord wanted me to do is warn a particular people in particular region we know that the Lord warns so that his people can seek him uh, before something happens and uh, so and what I began hearing this morning and throughout this today is it was a rhema word and I was hearing Lake Potter Train Lake Potter Train Lake Potter Train just the Lord kept reiterating it and um, we've had a very busy day there's been a lot going on and like always I'm like Lord if you really need me to put this word up you will make a way there will be a time and all of a sudden my husband said that he needed he was going deer hunting <laughs> so there was an opening praise the Lord and that allowed quiet time for me to get with the Lord okay I'll just stop it right there so anyway yeah, as you heard her say, the Lord told her several times, Lake Pontchartrain, which is in the southernmost part of Louisiana. Uh, I've crossed it myself a few times. It's a very long, large lake, uh, not very far from the coast, the Gulf Coast. So anyway, uh, pass this on, please, Jared. Like it so other people will see it. And please pray for the people in that area as she gets into saying, if you watch the video, the Lord wa wants us to pray for those he has in this area and that others will come to him because of it. Um, and as you know, if both those storms combine and hit this area, it will, it will no doubt cause so much flooding. More deaths will come. Man, that Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Katrina was awful. It was awful what happened there. And if you don't know, if you don't remember, or weren't around on YouTube when Hurricane Katrina was on, and maybe you didn't watch news much, just do a research on that and see how many people died. And how the army blew the, 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 what are they called? They're like, um, they're kind of like miniature dams that are built to hold the water back when a hurricane happens. They blew them up so the water would flood the lowest areas to save the highest areas. And... Guess who lived in the lowest areas? Well, the poorest. And many of them died. But, you know, they rescued several. They were stuck in that football stadium for I don't know how long. And then they put them in little mobile homes, like all lined up in a row and Anyway, it was it was quite a mess. It was I don't know what that was. Was that practice for something or just I don't know. I'm going to end it here and I say uh thank you in advance for your prayers. And um the again the channel is called Looking Toward Towards the Heaven for Jesus, if you can't see the description box, the title is Warning to Lake Pontchartrain, L.A. It's spelled Pontchartrain, comma, L.A. Pontchartrain, L.A. Okay, I'll end it at that. I'll say have a good night. God bless each and every one of you. I'll talk to you later.